relationships are relationships and their rules and policies remain the same. They are fundamental. It's only that levels of intimacy differ, but methods of relating are exactly the same. First quality. Hmm. You have to be a servant. You see, some, sometimes when I talk about these things, people think I'm going to bring something that's so out of the normal. Yeah? But success comes when you pay attention to basics, things that are basic. Success in relationships will come when you pay attention to the very basic things, the fundamental things, the elementary things. So you need to be a servant. Now, the Greek word for servant is doulos, somebody who serves another. In fact, it's the same word for a slave, a bondman, you know, somebody who gives themselves up to another person's will, giving yourself up to another person's will. For example, I'm a servant to my children. You should see me when they ask me to do things for them. I remember there's a time uh, over Christmas, I bought my child, my son, a gun. And this gun wasn't shooting. So, you know, you load it and he tries to shoot and the thing doesn't shoot. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I wasn't too happy because he couldn't use his gun properly. It was late in the evening. The next day, I drove all the way going to replace that thing, you know, because I gave myself over to the will of my child. So the first quality you must develop in your relationship is give yourself over to the will of that person. The same way when my son or my daughter says, Daddy, do this and that, even though they say them, they say those words with such sweet little voices. But for me, I feel like I've been given instructions I must obey. You get that? I have to do it. I feel restless until such a time that I've done what my child asked me to do. So to that extent, I've given myself over to the will of my child. And that's what is called a servant in the Bible. Quality number one, be a servant of that person that you love, okay, or that person that loves you. These are qualities that your spouse will not resist. When they say something, you do them. When my wife asks me to do something, oh my goodness, I'll do it. I will do it. If she says, honey, I need this and that, I will do it. I remember when she was about to give birth to her firstborn. And she said she needed a certain dark chocolate in a certain specific shop. <laughs> I drove all the way in the thick of traffic and I went and bought that very thing and brought it to her. Do you see? That is giving yourself over to the will of the person you love. It does not make you less. No. It's a quality that's required in relationships. So second quality, stop fighting. Second quality, stop fighting. Quality number one, give yourself over. Give your will over to the person that you love so that when they indicate a need, you meet it quickly. If they're going through something, you want to mitigate it first, really quickly. Glory to God. The Bible says you must not be a person given to strife. You must not be a person who fights all the time. Always at war, always contending, always full of strife. You must get rid of things like that. Okay? These are the qualities that your spouse will not resist. These are qualities that your boss will not resist. These are qualities your fiancé will not resist. These are qualities your partner in business will not resist. And if anyone continues fighting you when you have these qualities, then they are the problem, not you. And of course, on the face of the earth, there are people like that. There are people that are never impressed by anything. It doesn't matter what you do. Bend back, double. Yeah? Jump, jive, and well. Sober salt. Lie on your face. Lie backwards. Lie on your side. They still want to be pleased with you. They are there. And those are the people, just leave them alone. Love them from a distance. Okay. Quality number three, you must be gentle. Ah, this is beautiful. Be affable. Mm, gentle. Okay. Mild. Warm and friendly. That's what gentle is there. In, in, the, in Greek, it's epios. Yeah. Epios. Warm and gentle. Let me tell you, these are characteristic traits I'm developing on a daily basis. You know, as a person, as an individual. You know, we don't just study the word of God. We just, we just don't pray to preach to you. We study the word of God and pray for character development first. That we develop these characteristic traits first. Then when we speak to you, the words we speak to you are backed up with integrity. They're backed up with fidelity. You get that? Huh? It is consistent from my heart straight to your heart. So I'm working on my own character. 
to be as gentle as I can. I'm practicing with my children. I'm practicing with my wife. I'm practicing with the people that work with me, people around me. I'm trying to show as much, as much gentleness and understanding as I can. And where I fall short, I'm always quick to say I'm sorry. Do you get that? These are the qualities. Make yourself of no reputation. You don't need a reputation to be successful. So, be a servant. Give your will over to the person that you love. Make sure that you, you portray yourself as a person interested in the needs of the person you love rather than in your own needs. Think of the other person first. Be a servant. Serve them. Number two, don't fight. Okay? Number three, be affable. Be warm and gentle. A person that exudes warmth and gentleness. 